Hello guys and welcome to Program Artist. In this episode, by the request of Hans, uh, I will talk about strict null checks in TypeScript. Let's start by defining four variables for, uh, with different types. So let me define A to be a string. Uh, let me define B to be a string or a null. And C will be string or undefined. And the final one, string will a D will be either string or null or undefined. Okay, so if you're not familiar with this syntax, uh, you can watch the, my episode about union types. I've put the link in the description and you can click at the top uh, left, no, top right of this video and uh, go and watch it. Okay, so now let's look at uh, what happens if I'm trying to assign things to these variables. So for now, I'm gonna assign strings and by the definition of these variables, it probably will be okay and it will be okay because all the variables, all the variables support uh, to being a string. Now let me assign nulls to all of them and you're probably by now asking yourself okay so b and d can be null by the definition uh, but a and c cannot be null but why isn't anything yelling at me okay let me just do another thing undefined c for all undefined okay undefined so the same thing you're asking yourself about the undefined uh, what the hell is happening here because well d and c are declaring themselves as they can be undefined but a and b cannot so what this problem illustrates you is that without a specific configuration any variable can be either null or undefined meaning that if you have for example a function that returns some type it can also return undefined or null meaning that you cannot be sure that what gets out from this function is actually for example in this case a string it can also be a null or an, or an undefined but you can change it so how can you do it? You can go to the tsconfig, which is a configuration file for the TypeScript compiler or transpiler, whatever you like to call it, it doesn't really matter. And you can add in a option strict come on strict null checks to be true, which as you saw one second ago, by default it is false. But when you define it to be true, Okay, now you can see some errors. So what errors am I seeing? I'm seeing that type null is not assignable to type string. Okay, and the same thing, type null is not assignable to type string or undefined. And same here, undefined probably will not be assignable to type string or null. And the same thing here, undefined is not assignable to type string. But if you're specifying it to be false, which is, it is by default false, then these errors disappear. Okay, so you can think of it as a very good thing and uh, in most cases it can be a good thing uh, which ensures in compilation time that you are not returning some uh, unknown variable uh, type which means if uh, your function for example tries to accept uh, a string and returns a number it won't for example accept uh, an undefined and return uh, null. Okay, so compiler will ensure it. But there is an edge case uh, which is when you're using uh, third-party libraries sometimes they are not written in, uh, in this way meaning that if a third-party library declares it returns a string it can return a null because well for example this third-party can be written in JavaScript and the declaration file uh, is written uh, only as a DTS so 
there is no compil compiler that uh, verifies that uh, the JavaScript actually returns uh, whatever it says, only that uh, the one who wrote the declaration file is responsible for uh, making sure it doesn't re return any other stuff. Uh, and another edge case is that, uh, well, sometimes they're written with strict nulls to be false, so they are returning nulls, and when you're writing with strict null to be equal to true, uh, strict null checks, uh, then if, for example, the third party returns null, and you're not expecting it because, well, you're saying it it won't be returning null because I'm trying to check it in compile time, so you're not checking it in with an if statement, uh, then you can have a lot of bugs. So it can be very problematic, so be careful when you're using it. One way to overcome it is when you're using some kind of third party, you can wrap it uh, with your own uh, object, which ensures the null checks and returns only uh, the types that you expect but it can be a pain in the ass wrapping all the libraries that you're using, especially in JavaScript, because you're using a lot of them. So be careful. You have watched an episode about strict nulls in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to see more copyrighted videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on ProgramArist.